Hi there, Lloyd Mosquito. Speaking to you from LloydMosquito.com. Who's Lloyd Mosquito? Think personal branding. Okay. Uh, I got this question from somebody who has was just reached Dubai, just got a job, just settled down. And lo and behold, one of the biggest differences he found is the way bosses behave. Now, apparently, he is from the West where you can call the boss by the name. Like, for example, if his name is Mark. Hey, Mark, how are you doing? If the guy's name is, I don't know, uh, think of a name like uh, William. Okay, hi, William. But here in Dubai, he found out that people call the boss Sir or Mr. And in some cases also, the bosses literally shout, scream, abuse, you know, non-performance. So he found it very uncomfortable. And he sent me a nice little letter and he said, Loy, I, I really don't understand the cultural difference and um, what do I do about it? Okay. So I thought, okay, I'll, I'll make a video on this. Now, uh, remember, there's no right and wrong. Feel free to comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Now, given the fact that I lived in UAE for 40 years plus, whatever, and my parents, 55, I've seen all kinds of people, bosses, individuals, okay? And uh, lo and behold, I changed my jobs. Like, I literally kept changing my jobs. 36 times I changed my employment. Uh, I think from the age of 20 till, no, from 16 till wherever, 20, 25. 36 jobs. I'd work for one month. I didn't like a change. So lucky for me that I was not dependent on a visa, okay? Yeah, obviously, if you stay many years, you know how to get a visa. But for people who come in new and who have to take a visa, they don't have a choice. Okay. Now, understand this much that the culture of UAE is very different. Okay. There are more than 200 different nationalities and um, different people, different cultures. However, UAE is still a very young country. UAE is not a established country of many, many years. Okay. It's like, if you check the independence, I, uh, what, 50, 60 years independence? Okay, so it's a very relatively very young nation. Okay, now the question is, what do you do about it? Okay, what do you do? The first thing is, uh, which I tell people is, you cannot change the entire system. Let's say you join a particular organization. You cannot change the entire organization because you have a different set of views or values. You're coming from the US, let's say you're coming from the US, they are not going to follow the U.S. culture. In fact, I'll give you a good example. Uh, one of my friends, I, let's keep his name as Lewis, okay? Not his real name. He was educated in the U.S., Indian guy, okay? He kept coming to Dubai back and forth. So when he was taking his college uh, holidays, he decided to take a, a temporary job in a bank, okay? This you're talking about nearly, I think, 25 years ago, okay? So he got as an intern in a bank and uh, mind you, he has, you know, even though he's studying in uh, US, he had an Indian passport. Okay. And uh, this guy, the bank manager, one day the bank manager walked in, senior guy, slightly old. Everyone called him sir and everyone called him Mr. Abdullah, whatever. His name was Abdullah. This guy said, hey, Abdullah, how are you? <laughs> Well, guess what? He got terminated that very next few minutes. Uh, the senior manager got called in and this guy was given his packing orders because he called him by the name. Now, obviously, he didn't say, hey, Abdullah. He must have said, you know, maybe he was slightly polite, but the very fact he took his name, he got kicked out. Okay. So first things first, you cannot change the culture. The second thing is, uh, I guess it depends on your situation. If you have, let's say, lots of money, if you have lots of money, you don't have to carry damn. If you have your own visa, you don't have to take shit. But then if you don't have money, if you don't have your own visa, then you don't have much of a choice. Okay. And with regards to bosses, one more thing which you need to understand is there are good bosses, good and tough bosses, and there are bad, tough bosses. Good, tough bosses are the ones who use the carrot and stick approach to make sure that you achieve your performance. And in some cases, they just like to live, make people do their work through fear. 
I have had many such bosses who may not give you a single compliment, would keep telling you, you will lose your job, you better achieve your target and this and that. If you achieve your target, they don't bother you. If you don't achieve their target, they might keep scaring you. I'll get you terminated, I'll get kicked out, you will go back to your country, you know, th those kind of things. Okay. Now, those are the good, tough bosses because they give you tough love, but they make you strong. I know many people don't like that way, but most of the cases, it used to be very effective. But then there are these bad, tough bosses that no matter what you do, no matter how much you work, no matter how much you achieve your target, they'll still treat you like shit. They'll make you work like slaves. In fact, they'll even make you do work which is not meant for you. Like I've I've had uh, I've I've known incidents where they would even tell make me tea, make me coffee, then do this work, deliver this, bring this from my house. You know, literally like that, and you can't say no to them. So those are the bad, tough bosses. Okay. So like I told you, if you have the money, you can say no. Okay, you can. Uh, I don't need your job. If you have your own visa, you don't have to take shit from anyone. But now, if you have, if you need the visa, you need the job, what do you do? That is where I tell people, if you don't have any option, then it's better to keep quiet, wait until your visa, this thing gets expired, and then leave. Or find out a way how you can, I don't know, create a story, create a narrative. Oh, my mother's sick. Oh, my father's sick. Oh, I have this disease. Oh, I have this, whatever and get cancelled. Okay. Others, what else can you do? Because you're legally bound under the contract. Okay. And also keep in mind, yes, there are some cases where you don't have to worry about the contract and many cases where you have to worry about the contract. Find out what is it that you signed up for and also figure out through other colleagues that if people resign, what is the price they have to pay? Because in some cases I know where if people resign, the owner will just say, okay, go, go your own way, go in peace. But in some other cases, if you resign, they will make your life living hell. And in some other cases, you also have people who, if you resign, they'll ask you to pay the visa money. They'll ask you to pay all the expenses, even though legally, as per law, they will say, no, you don't have to pay. But remember, people who have the money and power, you can't do anything to them. And if you take them to court, you will lose everything. Trust me, they have a lot of money. They are a company. They have enough and more liquidity and finance and power and connections. You as an employee, if you don't have money, don't have contacts and connections, your life can be made miserable, okay? Look, I have had many uh, examples where I know in some cases the guy has literally, you know, been so pissed off. He told the boss, cancel me right now. I don't give a damn, you know? And, you know, in some cases they have, you know, kind of made everyone cool down and relax and, done their own thing. In some other cases, they were like, gave a legal warning. In some other cases, nowadays, if you threaten, you can even go to jail. So you have to be very careful there. I would say the best way to handle such a situation is to be intelligent, to be smart, to have a cool mind, and to know how to best go about. But then in the end, like I tell people, listen, end of the day, I can give you advice. Anyone can give you advice. You evaluate your situation because you have to pay the price for it. So do you have the money? Do you have the contacts? Do you have the connections? And most importantly, if you do lose your job, can you handle yourself for the next six months to one year? If yes, do not take shit. Be very polite. Be professional and say, sorry, sir. I Or sorry, whatever, Mr. So-and-so. I'm not very comfortable working here. Uh, if you want, you can you know, just terminate me and you know, I'm off my way. In fact, I'll give you one last incident. This actually happened when I was working for Quick Electric, where the CEO of the company was, you know, like a mentor to me. He had told me, be tough with these salespeople and asked to put on an act and be very tough with these salespeople. You know, where are you going? What are you doing? You know, putting on my tough face. One guy joined. Uh, he was uh, Indian, Muslim, Muslim. Uh, but he had experience in the same industry. Okay. I'm, I'm just giving background. It's not because he's Muslim, whatever. So when I told him the same kind of statement, which I give the other people, I need to know where you're going, what you're doing, whatever. He said, I'm sorry, I don't work like this. I said, what do you mean you don't work? These are the rules of how you should be working. And he was a guy who joined newly. But then uh, when I insisted, which other people used to get scared, he said, 
fine i don't want to uh, i'm not ready to listen to this you can just cancel me if you want i'm ready to go back go back to india whatever even though he had joined newly he was not afraid and you know i obviously okay fine i went and reported it to the ceo the ceo was like bloody hell you know we just took out his visa he spent money you need to cool this situation down because i don't want a guy who i spent money just resigning and going so in his case he did have a point and i have to admit i was wrong uh, because that was not the way those days i was still learning the art of being a manager being a leader and you know i thought bullying everyone worked well he definitely taught me a lesson so anyway these are lessons that we learn from life so if you are new to dubai and new to the environment understand this much that uae is a very unique and different working environment don't expect what works in your country will work here and don't think that just because you could do whatever you wanted back home in your country you can do the same here there is a different set of rules that occupy and yes the worst thing that you can possibly have is an asshole for a boss or someone like me who's immature those days to be your boss <laughs> oh man if you don't have the contacts connections and the money life can be living hell anyway this is what i wanted uh, to share with you let me know your thoughts in the comments below good bad ugly love to hear from you this is me signing off you guys take care mm-hmm.